In projects that are executed with our accelerated delivery platform, we regularly make use of our code generator, which is called Tobago MDA. Tobago MDA is a generator that imports a UML model and is able to use a template engine to generate just about anything you can put in a, in, in, in a text file. Um, as you can see on this slide, normally we model our applications in smart use cases and in our domain models. This model is then exported in an XMI format, which is a standard UML format, and imported into Tobago. Tobago then uses a, a meta model for our UML model, which describes which attributes can be used in apply, can be applied to, uh, to templates to create classes, documents, or whatever you want to create. As you can see in the next slide, uh, this is what a template looks like. Each template has a number of, of tags that are replaced when something is generated from the, uh, from the model. Uh, which was imported into Tobago. These tags will then be replaced by the actual name or of, of the class, or in this particular case, as the tag on the, on the slide shows, the name of the model where the class is in, which is quite normally the name of the project. Um, moreover, uh, in Tobago, there is a special uh, domain-specific language defined for creating templates. One of the uh, main elements in there is a, a, a tag which is called Tobago Loop, which allows you to look through a, a, a collection of attributes or a collection of associations or any collection which is in the meta model that we have in Tobago. Um, one of the special tags is uh, called something is something called uh, a marking. A marking is a uh, special tag that allows you to um, even more uh, create flexible templates to create your classes. This is the, the, the thing I will demonstrate during this small tutorial. Um, as you can see on the marking, which is on, your, uh, on the slide, um, you can specify two parameters for this uh, Tobago tag. The first one is the name of the marking, and the second one is the default value whenever the marking is not found in the repository in Tobago. I will demonstrate this by now going to Tobago. Um, Tobago has uh, a number of uh, tab, tab, uh, tabs on the executable. In this uh, particular demo, I have already imported a UML model. Um, the third tab on this uh, menu is our marking tab. The marking tab now has a single uh, marking, which I just entered. Um, using this marking, I'm able to replace the text from the actual template by the text I want to put in there. Now I will show a small, temp a small template. This template is part of generating a web page. One of the things I have on there is a button, and this button uh, has a default message which appears when you click the button. In this message, I've put in a Tobago marking, as you can see, and the Tobago marking has the tag name delete message. If the delete message is found in my list of markings, which is because I've just entered it in Tobago, then it will replace the actual tag, the Tobago marking tag, completely by the text which is now spelled as remove in my uh, Tobago generator. If there is no tag found, then Tobago will automatically replace the full tag by the default text, which in this case is, are you sure? I will demonstrate generating the code now. Um, in this case, I uh, will generate out a single use case and the web page which goes with that use case. This web page contains the button for which I just wanted to enter, uh, enter a different text. Um, so if I generate this, uh, uh, this, this single form, this web page, an ASP.NET web page, uh, I'll, I'll just click the Show button to show you what it looks like. Um, then you will see that the generated code looks a lot like the template code, but the tags are replaced. In this case, it's the, um, it's the marking that has been replaced. And now it says Remove. I'll demonstrate it again. Right after, I will change uh, the message for that. I could also set, uh, please throw Oh, let's start correctly. Throw it away. I'll be saving the marking. When I go back to the Generate tab and generate the same form again, you will see that it now has a message that says, please throw it away, which is different from the original one. Okay, this is about it. You can use uh, uh, markings to even more uh, um, um, apply your own standards for your project because markings are stored per project. Uh, um, uh, and can apply them to whatever you want to generate, such as classes, documents, or anything that's in the patent catalog. Thank you.